This has been the most unpredictable uh, championship of all times. What was he doing? He just turned straight into the side of me. What possible timing? There's 18 drivers that can win this thing. It's never been heard of. Two races to go in the ABB Formula E World Championship. I think any driver which says they don't get nervous is uh, a bull thing. <laughs>
you know, Edo Martara has become very consistent in Formula E, which he wasn't when he first showed up. And he's right in the title fight. The Venturi team have done a phenomenal job. Don't forget they're a customer team. He missed one race because he couldn't start because there was had a big accident in, uh, in Saudi. So the fact he's second in the points, they've, they've had a phenomenal season, the Venturi team, but so has Edo Martara. Mitch Evans in the, in the Jaguar is, is a little bit of an outside bet at the moment for the championship, but I wouldn't rule him out at all. I think Jaguar do have a lot to prove this weekend coming here. You know, uh, Mitch Evans was second in the championship last season. It came up with such a strong package and then was just nowhere when it got here. I wouldn't go as far as to call Berlin a bogey track for Jaguar, but it's up there. Their previous here has is, is not been strong. They really need to put that to bed because it's a storyline that, that me and my fellow journalists will pick up on. So there's probably still a little bit of nervousness that it could well happen again, such as been the unpredictability of this season. Nick De Vries had basically the perfect weekend in London where if you just have two really strong results, then you can swing the point so much from nowhere near contention to suddenly he's, he's coming into Berlin in the lead. Nick De Vries leading it. Yeah, he's going to be tough to beat. Jake Dennis, a rookie. He's been amazing this year. So we're currently uh, in Milton Keynes. This is where I live. A week after London now. Getting ready for Berlin. You don't want to see this. The cupboard of no return. I'm excited, you know. Uh, third in the championship, going into the, the final two races of the year. We've got our two wins under our belt. Uh, so I'm feeling confident. As long as I've got this, uh, and then this. I can do most things. This is my race license and my passport. So if I've got these two things, I can get pretty much anywhere. Quite protect. Great stuff. I've got a slight fetish for sneakers, so um, always remember this. To be honest, I'm quite a nervous guy. The nerves will always build up uh, as, as you obviously get closer to the race. Uh, I think the most nervous part of the weekend is qualifying because you only really get that one chance to like nail it. But yeah. I think any driver which says they don't get nervous is uh, a bull thing. <laughs> it's weird because it's a finale and in previous years there'd be a lot of stuff going on, but uh, of course tonight they're just going back to the hotel rooms, might not even be allowed to eat dinner with other people and they'll be sitting there trying to prepare. They'll all have routines, but it's, it's a case of not letting your thoughts get away from you. Oh, f sakes. Right. Action! This has been the most unpredictable uh, championship and motorsport uh, series of, of all times. Eight or nine teams uh, have won a race this year, so that's incredible. That's only something that only Formula E can provide. There's not been really a big, um, yeah, big favorite, let's say, with, for, for the title or driver that um, that did escape, you know, from the others, like in terms of points. I am very certain that the championship will be decided on the last day and perhaps even on the last couple of laps. Everybody is to watch, but there is not one driver that say, okay, this guy is going to win because, yeah, we don't know. Bang, bang, bang. De Vries, De Costa, Rust, I think, um, are in great positions. So we are currently leading the championship. I am not entirely sure whether it's uh, the right moment to, to be in the lead. How nervous are you? Do I look nervous? Come on, man. We never give up until the last lap of the last race, we're gonna fight for it. Yeah, I got nothing to lose. Uh, so, you know, it's uh, food on attack. Um, so I'm gonna switch it off. Peace out. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Here's a look at how the grid is going to line up ahead of round 14 of the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship. The penultimate race of the season. Robin Fries is 23rd on the grid. He's second in the championship. 19th on the grid is Nick De Vries. He's leading the championship. Sam Bird, 15th, and Jake Dennis, 8th on the grid. Fourth on the grid, Eduardo Mortara. He is only 
19 points off the lead of the championship. Lucas de Grassi starts third on the grid, but it's a front row lockout for Jean-Eric Verne and Antonio Felix da Costa. Two races to go in the ABB Formula E World Championship. 45 minutes plus one lap. The first lap is going to be all about track position. All five lights are on. And we go green in Berlin. Quite a lot of wheel spin, I think, for De Costa in second place, but he gets away quite nicely. Sebastian Buemi's trying to go around the outside of the Venturi into the first corner as well, but the two Diesta Cheetahs remain in position. And there goes Dennis to the outside, coming into turn six. What a beautiful move from Dennis. Good job. For some reason, the pace at the front is so slow. People are saving energy. There's a long race. As soon as we have the gap, we go. Through attack mode goes Andre Lotterer, so he is the first driver to activate his attack mode. Attack mode only has to be used once today, but it lasts for eight minutes. Roland is defending hard from Jake Dennis. Here goes Dennis up the inside of Roland. Mate, you give me no information about who is in attack mode. I mean, Jake Dennis now equal to where he started. I was expecting much more from him. And a very late move across from Verlein, but you don't force Roland out of the way very easily. Verlein has a puncture. He hits the wall and his race is over. Yeah, come on, what the f was that? Yeah, he flat spotted my tire, this f***ing idiot. What was he doing? He just turned straight into the side of me. One of the Jaguars is slowing down. It's Sam Bird. Ah, oh, rest general error. Oh, copy that, Sam. Stay where you are. And there is Bird, stopped on the start, finished straight. Disaster for the Jaguar team. No points again for Sam Bird. Could that spell the end of his title hopes? Yeah. I, it felt like it was a massive whack up the back, but it wasn't. It's something that's done something. And uh, Rast is now fancying a move on Max Gunter for 10th position. And there he goes on his compatriot, two into one for Rene Rast. He'll take Gunter and he'll take Buemi. Swap this lap, use energy to swap. And there goes De Costa to the lead. Antonio Felix De Costa overtakes Jean-Eric Verne and gets to the head of the field. Rast is unbelievable. He's, he's now got ahead of Norman Nato. He's fourth. He's started 12th. Can I get past? René is behind you. Attack mode. Rast on attack behind De Grassi. He's attacking him. And there goes De Grassi. And De Grassi goes past Verne. And Rast is going to follow through as well. The two Audis now go past Jean-Eric Verne, who suddenly drops to fourth place. Are you f***ing kidding me? Like, you knew they were in attack, they were going to attack me, and you swap exactly in this time. Worst possible timing. And look at this, the two Audis going side by side, and Degrassi's going for the lead! Lucas Degrassi to the inside, and he gets ahead of De Costa, and Rast tries to force his way through as well! It's an Audi 1-2! Great move, Lucas. I have a picture. Championship leader Nick de Vries into the pit. What a complete joke. Montara is up into third place. The Esther Cheetah have just lost everything. And here now comes Montara for second place. Here goes De Grassi to attack mode. The Venturi takes the lead. We've had a De Esther Cheetah 1 2, then an Audi 1 2, and now we have a Rocket Venturi 1 2. Not fighting, not fighting, no. Evans goes through, past René Rast, and Dennis goes past the Costa now. Lucas de Grassi sells Nato, the dummy, into turn 10. Beautiful move from the Brazilian. He's into second place, and this has to be the chance for the lead. De Grassi to the inside. He Nato has. comes across, and they're going to be side by side into seven, and Evans is through. Well done, well done. De Grassi leading. Mortara second, Mitch Evans now third for Jaguar, but here comes Mortara. He's going to get a great run off the final corner, gets on the power, but I don't think he's going to quite have the room. <laughs> and Lucas de Grassi wins in Berlin. And Evans comes across the line in third. Yes, 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 yes! Just one race to go, 10 points separate the top seven drivers. Degrassi is now in sixth on what is an emotional weekend for the Audi team. They're leaving the championship after being here since the very start seven years ago. You have to believe always. You always have to try to focus on your performance. You try to do the best you can all the time. Being 14th in the championships, I had very little to lose, so I just went for it. 
today you worked, so we're going to try the same tomorrow. Mitch Evans lies in fourth. Jake Dennis is just one place and one point ahead of him. Eduardo Mortara is now in second place. We kind of understood like uh, this year that we had a really good, strong race car. Yeah, really pumped and excited. We're bringing you know this fight you know till the end, to the last race. Uh, it's mega. It's mega. And after finishing out of the points, Nick De Vries holds on to the top spot of the championship by just three points. We're going to see a race tomorrow like this, oh. but with the gloves off. Waiting for the lights for the final round of the World Championship season. It's still 45 minutes to change everything or, or make everything. It's absolutely disgraceful. I need something to happen up front for Mitch to drop back into my clutches. Two title oh, contenders oh. out! What on earth is going on in this title decider? You okay? So subscribe to the Formula YouTube channel to watch more.